We're going to make some delicious espresso today and I'm gonna go over a few things, tips that you need to know when using the machine and how to make the cup of coffee here. Of course, you don't need an expensive machine to have good coffee. This one makes excellent machine and it's a great value. Uh, first of all, it does have a cup warmer here. So when you make the coffee and you wanna make another one, don't want it to get hot, you can put a cup right on top of here. So this is the machine and then you have the wand over here to steam the milk. It does come with a measuring spoon and a tamper right here so you can press the coffee in. It does come with a filter holder over here, as well as two filters, one for a double shot and one for a single shot. You have your power button, single shot, double shot, and steamer. You have your knob over here, depending how strong you want this team, how powerful in there. Now for your coffee, it is always best to use fresh coffee. So I buy whole beans and then I do uh, use this machine here to grind them. If you're using a coffee grinder, make sure you only grind coffee in that grinder. You don't want to mix it with other things. It'll flavor it up. So just use your coffee grinder in there. And as it comes with this guide over here, where it is going to tell you how to grind your beans for different kinds of coffee. This is usually my Turkish cup of coffee here. Uh, the one we make over the stove and the grinds stay in there. Uh, in here, half of it would be a single shot. The full cup would be a double shot. First thing I'm going to do is grab my filter holder. We're going to make a double shot here. So I'm going to line it up with this little opening right here with the opening on this one. Put it in. We are going to grab the coffee. Now, usually I might take it out of there and just put it in here, shake it. There's a max line in here. You don't want to go above it. Once you put it in, it's not going to be able to lock in if it's overfilled. So just press it in really good. I'm going to put it in, turn it, and lock it in. I need to get a different mat for under it, one that's more rubbery. This one, first of all, moves, and second of all, it's gonna stain easily with the coffee. So it's already time to replace it, and this is new. Uh, so get a rubber mat for under it. See, we made more of a mess, this has gotta go. All right, so once we've put the coffee in here, we filled the water tank in the back. It does hold a lot too, it's pretty big, so you'll probably need to fill it once a week, twice a week max. We're gonna turn on the coffee maker. It's already preheated on here. And we are going to make a double shot. Make sure it's lined up for both lines here. When you see that there's a foam in there, that means the coffee is fresh. If you grab coffee that's already ground, that's been there for a while, it's not gonna have that foam in there and it's just not gonna have the right flavor. This is absolutely amazing. It's delicious coffee. And frankly, it's a great machine without spending a bunch of money on it. So definitely this one is a highly recommended machine. It was gifted to me and I am so happy about that. Uh, I was really excited when they contacted me because I really wanted one and this is a great machine.